<clears throat> Hello everyone, it's Richard with Home Tech Video. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video with the Raspberry Pi project, but it is finished. Um, it's been active and running now for about uh, six months or whenever the last time I uploaded the, uh, the video on this project. Uh, I got three buttons on the back that are wired in now. I got a power button, the uh, middle button does uh, a certain function, and then the bottom do button does a certain function. I'll show you here in a minute when I turn it on. And then I also installed two cooling fans to keep the uh, the board and all the electronics running nice and cool once it's turned on. So uh, the top button, like I said, is the uh, power cycle button. It turns it on and off, so I'm going to go and hit it now. And let it power cycle. Now as it's coming on, I did all of the scripting with the Raspberry Pi in Python. Uh, I've never coded Python before. I just kind of self-taught myself all of the different commands and different ways of doing it and with a bunch of experimenting I uh, got it working exactly the way that I want it. So the uh, Python script automatically starts when the Raspberry Pi turns on. It does a couple of things. It opens up Chromium in full screen and goes to UI3 and then it launches my uh, picture uh, program. And then also another little part of that script that I thought was kind of handy that I figured out how to do. When you start a Raspberry Pi the mouse icon's up in the top right corner here, or top left corner. I got it to automatically, once it switches into the other part here, go off the screen, which was kind of cool. Now I haven't touched anything. All I've done so far is just hit the power button. And then this is the last part, or this is where it ends up without, you know, touching anything. Now the second button down on the bottom, or on the back of this, will toggle between the two. So if I hit it once, it'll switch into the picture frame program. And I have it set up on my FTP server on my house. So I can automatically, or not automatically, I can upload any picture that I want to it, or delete any picture from this uh, without needing to actually connect into the Pi. Uh, the Pi is just set up as a shared drive on it. So any computer, any smartphone that I have on my network can automatic, or can upload pictures to it. And it's uh, set on a timer, so I think it's every 30 seconds it'll rotate to a, a new picture. And let me switch back into the cameras. And the very bottom button does something that's really cool too. So by default, this is the view that you're going to get all of the cameras going all the time. But the bottom button, I have to where it, to it can toggle between the cameras. So I hit it once, and it brings up a camera full screen. And then I just hit, you know, keep on hitting the button, and it'll toggle between all of the cameras. So let me cycle through all eight of them. And then it'll eventually end up... Get all my Christmas decorations out. <laughs> and then it'll eventually end up back into the uh, window that shows all of the cameras. And then lastly, when I'm done with it, all I do is just hit the button on the uh, top, and it performs a couple of series of Alt F4 commands to shut everything down gracefully. And then it performs a shutdown command on the Pi. So that's it. That's my Raspberry Pi project. This thing, I have a probably a total of, <laughs> oh geez, a good 40, 50 hours in this thing just between the Python scripting and making the, the frame and trying to figure out what materials that I wanted to make everything out of. So uh, this is the end product. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching.